Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, it couldn't be any more evident that we are living in the last days and that Jesus is coming soon. Let's face it, people's obsession with the supernatural, especially Ouija boards, the occult and witchcraft is skyrocketing more than any other generation in human history. What does the Bible say about this? The Bible has a lot to say about witchcraft. Witchcraft and its many cousins, such as fortune-telling and necromancy, are Satan's counterfeits to holy spirituality. The Bible expressly condemns all forms of witchcraft. Since early times, people have sought supernatural experiences God did not endorse. The nations that surrounded the Promised Land were saturated with such practices, and God had stern words for his people concerning any involvement with them. In fact, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verses 9 to 12, we read the following. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord, and because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. God takes witchcraft very seriously. The penalty for practicing witchcraft under the Mosaic law was death. You know, in the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 10, verse 13, we read, So Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it. In the New Testament, sorcery is translated from the Greek word pharmakia, from which we get our word pharmacy. In Revelation chapter 18, verse 23, in context here, this is during the coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet. However, in Revelation chapter 18, verse 23, we read the following. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Now the deception is bad right now. People's obsession with the occult, with witchcraft, with the supernatural, with all that stuff is skyrocketing right now. But we're told here very clearly in Revelation chapter 18, verse 23, for by thy sorceries, pharmakia, were all nations deceived. It's going to get a whole lot worse. Witchcraft and spiritism often involve the ritualistic use of magic potions and mind-controlling drugs. Using illicit drugs can open ourselves to the invasion of demonic spirits. Engaging in a practice or taking a substance to achieve an altered state of consciousness is a form of witchcraft. I also want you to go to the book of Revelation chapter 9 verses 20 to 21. Again, in context, this is during the coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet. Revelation chapter 9 Verse 20 to 21, we read the following. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Listen to this part. Neither repented they of their murders nor of their sorceries, pharmakia, 
nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Scripture makes it very clear that during the coming seven-year tribulation period, which we are not in yet, a society centered around the occult will arise on a global scale. And folks, we're already seeing it now, but it's going to get a whole lot worse. And that brings me to what I want to share with you guys today. I recently came across this from the New York Post. Look at the title of this article, folks. UK for United Kingdom, United Kingdom University to offer postgraduate degree in witchcraft and the occult. Let me read some of this to you guys. There is no sorting hat, wands, or flying broomsticks, but magical mysteries still await. A university in the United Kingdom will be offering the country's first ever postgraduate degree in magic and occult science, according to a report. The University of Exeter will be offering the master's degree beginning in September of 2024, next September of 2024, amid a recent surge of interest in the history of witchcraft and magic. Emily Salavi, an associate professor in, medi in medieval Arabic literature who is heading the program, told the New York Times, the course will explore magic's influence on society and science through the lens of Jewish, Christian, and Islamic traditions, the Times reported. While students won't attend defense, defense Against the Dark Arts and Potions classes, the program offers unique courses such as a study of dragons in Western culture, literature, and art, and the depiction of women and witches in the Middle Ages. Listen to this part, folks. Salavi said she's already been contacted by hundreds of prospective witches and wizards who are interested in the opportunity to explore such topics across academic fields. Interest in magic and the occult has become widespread, especially among the younger, less religious generations, evidenced by numerous TikTok, where the hashtag witch talk has videos viewed more than 50 billion times. That's insane, folks. So hashtag witch talk has videos viewed more than 50 billion times about identifying characteristics of witches and how to rid homes of bad energy, according to the Times. But I had to share this with you guys when I saw it today. This is going to be widespread all over the world, folks. It's not just going to be in the United Kingdom. As people's obsessions with the supernatural, with the occult, with witchcraft continues to skyrocket. And like it says in the article, the interest in magic and the occult has become widespread, especially among the younger, less religious generations. Folks, this is going exactly the way the Bible that said it that would in the last days. But the whole point, the bottom line again, is scripture makes it very clear that during the seven-year tribulation, a society centered around the occult will arise on a global scale. Please, if you're into the occult, if you're into the New Age mood, if you're into witchcraft, if you're messing around with Ouija boards, stop right now. This is very bad. This is very bad. It's satanic. It's demonic. You need to stop right now, and you need to turn to the one truth, the only truth, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. And you need to do it right now because time is running out. You are dabbling with and inviting through demons. You need to stop right now. All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you're into this stuff, just go look at the thousands, thousands upon thousands of testimonies out there of people that were into the occult, into witchcraft, and how they were saved and turned to the Lord Jesus Christ. And that was the best decision they ever made. Please, if you're someone that has that testimony, I've seen so many out there, please put it in the description box below in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear your story and I know others would too, but if you're dabbling in this stuff, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what the Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the light boat right here and right now. That light boat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, 
right now as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is a day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with them forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that, only name that can save you. In John chapter 14, verse 6, we read, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In Acts chapter 4, verse 12, we read, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. In 1 Timothy 2, 5, we read, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. So witchcraft is not going to save you. Buddha is not going to save you. Allah is not going to save you. The occult is not going to save you. Religion is not going to save you. Dead saints are not going to save you. The Virgin Mary is not going to save you. Your own works, you trying to earn your way there, that is not going to save you. There is only one way to the kingdom of heaven and one name that can save you, and that is Jesus Christ in him alone. I am begging you, I am imploring you to turn from witchcraft, to turn from the occult, to the one that can save your soul, to be with him in eternity in heaven forever. And that name is Jesus Christ. So put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe he died for you. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now. Tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day. Very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.